After watching this video, you'll learn how to add these simple counter channels to your Discord server to show the total server count and a whole host of other things using a bot called Server Stats. We'll go through the basic counter channel, category counters, and how you can set a count for users with a specific role. First, we need to add the bot to the server, which you can do by clicking the link in the description, which will open you up to the Server Stats website, and then you just click this Invite Bot button. Select your server and accept the usual permissions, and then it should be added. So in Discord, to set up the simple counter, we first want to run the command slash counter create, and then we have a whole list of different counter options that pop up. To get a member count, we'll be selecting members only, and for the channel type, the most popular is normally the voice channel, which we can also then add a lock to it like this to prevent people joining. Once you press enter, it should then create the counter on the top, and then to add this lock symbol next to it, you simply just go to the permissions tab and then make sure that everyone can't connect to it. If you have a verification role, make sure that it has the same permission set and then when you view it as a user, it should then have a lock. When it comes to altering the name, you can do it the same way as if you were changing a channel name, just make sure that you don't remove any of the numbers. The counter currently updates every 10 to 15 minutes, so you won't notice any changes straight away, but will happen within that period. So that's the basic voice channel set up. But before we move to the category counter, I've recently released a free community called Discord Mastery, which you can join now and it will help level up your Discord skills. We've got a bunch of live events, calls, and is your go-to if you want a successful Discord server this year. Simply click the link in the description or go to thediscordmastery.com and I'll see you inside. Next we'll move to the category counter, which is kind of hidden and gives this sleek look. And for that, you simply just run the same command again with the same counter, which is the members only one, but this time you want to make it so the channel is a category. Now you just have to drag all of your channels under this new category once it's created. So I'd make this first before you do any of your server permissions to make things a little bit quicker. You can then rename it in the same way, just make sure you don't remove any of the numbers and obviously updates every 10 to 15 minutes. Finally, we have the count for a specific role, which is great if you have like a paid side to your Discord or even just an exclusive role which people can get. You can add a count for the number of users with this paid role and then you can either choose to make that public or private, it's up to you. Simply just run the same command again, but this time the counter will be members with certain roles and any of the other channel types you want, it doesn't really matter. I'll just go with the voice and then in the additional, this is where you'll pop your role ID. Now, for those of you who don't have the option to copy an ID, simply go to your user settings, advanced and enable developer mode. You can then just go to roles, then copy the ID of the role and then paste it into this advanced section, press enter and it should then create the counter for you. If you have any issues when creating a counter, running the command slash check gives you a list of all the things that might be wrong with your setup and then preventing you from creating the counter. But if you follow all the steps I just gave you correctly, you shouldn't have an issue. If you want to create a simple verification system just like this to secure your Discord server further, then click the video on the screen now. 